Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing day. Today I wanted to do a video on the new Too Faced Peaches and Cream Matte Collection. You guys know how I feel about matte products. Like I am all about my matte products because I have oily skin. So when I saw they were releasing these products, I freaked out. And then when they invited me to like preview the products, I was like, ah! I was like going crazy because um, I love Too Faced and I love their products and they're one of the kindest companies that I've ever worked with. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial using all the products and I want you guys to see me using them. I have been using them all week so I have a lot to say about them. So I ended up creating this look and I love how it turned out. So if you want to see what I think about these products, the dates, the prices, what they look like, what they feel like, then just keep watching. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for future videos. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. I already went ahead and filled in my brows. So I'm going to start with my face makeup. For primer today, I'm going to be using the new Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer infused with peach and sweet fig cream. So I'm just going to apply one pump, even I feel like one pump is too much. So this is what the primer looks like. I'm just going to take my finger and press it on the center of my face. It really does smell like peaches and when you put it on your face, it has a nice cooling sensation to it. So I'm only going to apply it wherever I get oily, which is mainly the center of my face. And this is a mattifying primer, so if you're somebody that has oily skin, I feel like you're really going to enjoy it. I did wear it for about three days straight, I believe, and it did not fail me. You can tell it instantly like blurred out the center of my face, which I do like because I do have some pores on my T-zone. Let's talk about the packaging too. I feel like Too Faced has one of the nicest, prettiest packaging just because it is very girly and feminine. And I do like the fact that it has a pump and a top so you can literally close it and not worry about it going anywhere. Okay, for foundation today, I am so over the top excited because I'm going to be using the new Too Faced Comfort Matte Foundation. It's also infused with peach. Everything in this collection is infused with, with peach, so it literally smells like peaches as you're applying it on your face. I'm going to use the shade Sand, and as you can tell, it has the same packaging as the primer. It's just a little bit bigger, but I do love the fact that it has a top, and then it also has a pump, so it makes it really easy for you to like get the product out. And this is what the foundation looks like. It is a little bit runny, but it's more on the thicker side. Um, I'm just going to take my finger again and just press it on my skin. So you can tell instantly like how much it's covering my skin. So this foundation claims to be oil free, 14 hour wear, oil controlling, which is mattifying like I said. And then it says it's also photo friendly. And actually yesterday we went out on a boat. If you didn't see my Instagram stories or my Instagram, I posted some pictures, but I was wearing the foundation throughout the entire day it was so hot and sunny and I was like out taking pictures, like out doing yoga and my makeup stayed on throughout the entire day. Like I got home last night and my makeup was still on and I was actually really surprised because it didn't separate. Um, it was still in place. One thing I like about the foundation is that it doesn't fully set right away as soon as you place it on your skin. You can take your time when you're blending it out and then it doesn't have a fully matte finish. I want to say it has more of like a soft matte finish, which I do like and I do prefer. So this is what one layer looks like. I think it looks amazing. It covered everything on the sides of my face. Now I'm going to go in with concealer. I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. So I'm going to be using light medium and I'm just going to apply it under my eyes. I'm taking a darker concealer and this one is in the shade Deep. And I'm just going to place this on the outer parts of my face. I'm going in with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer and I'm using this shade to contour my face. Let me get back to the Too Faced trip. So yeah, I went away with them for five days. We went to Laguna Beach for a few days and then we spent the rest of the trip in Beverly Hills and it was honestly so amazing. And I think what made it amazing was not only the Too Faced team because they're so nice and sweet and like welcoming and they just want to make you feel comfortable, but also the group of girls that were on the trip with me. I feel like everyone was so nice 
everyone like just got along. I'm actually really happy that I ended up going on this trip. Whenever I get invited to like trips like this, I always say no just because I get really nervous because I don't know what to expect and it can be a little overwhelming just because you don't know what to expect and then sometimes it can go good, sometimes it can go bad. You just never know, but I'm really happy that um everyone got along and it was a really nice trip and the Too Faced team like they just went above and beyond with everything and I got so much makeup that I already have so I will be giving it away to you guys. I'm going in with the new Too Faced Melting Powder Bronzer and I'm going to take a duo fiber brush by Real Techniques. I'm just going to dip it in and place it on the outer parts of my face. This is the first time I use this product. I actually haven't played around with it. But first impression, it does have a really nice glow to it, which I like. It kind of looks like I already applied highlighter on my forehead, which is good because like I don't have to go in and apply the highlighter, even though we know we will. Um, I'm just going to apply this on the sides of my face, the bronze of my skin. And by the way, this is cream to powder. So as you apply it on your skin, it gives you a nice powder finish. So it makes it look a lot more natural. To prime my eyes today, I'm using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. On my eyes, I'm going in with the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes, and this eyeshadow palette is all mattes, which you guys know I'm all about. But not only that, it's full of like warm, pretty, orangey, tangy eyeshadows. It is so beautiful. You have literally like any transition shade that you will ever need in an eyeshadow palette. You have some lighter shades over here, you have some transition shades, and then you have some darker shades on the outer parts. A little bit of peach merengue, that's how you say it. And I'm just going to set the primer. So I'm going in with peach tea and I'm just going to apply this on my crease. Now I'm going in with Fresh Picked and I'm just going to apply this on my outer crease. And I did notice that this shade has a little bit more fallout than the other shades. So just keep that in mind when you're using it. You just want to dust it off and then apply it on your lid. I'm taking my brow brush and chocolate dip and I'm just going to apply this really tight to my lashes just because I'm not going to be doing an eyeliner today but I still want a little bit of that smoky effect on my eyes so I'm just going to dip this in and just place this really close to my lashes. For mascara today I'm going in with my Too Faced Better Than Sex and I'm just going to apply one coat because I am going to go in with my falsies. Under my lower lashes, I'm just going to take Peach Cobbler and I'm just going to take a Real Techniques shading brush and I'm just going to apply this really tight to my lower lashes. Taking that same eyeliner brush, I'm going to take Chocolate Dip and I'm going to apply this in my waterline. I'm also going to bring it down under my lower lashes just to blend it out a little bit more and then I'm going to connect it with the eyeshadow up here. So while my eyelashes are drying, I'm just going to go in with the Sweet Pie Radiant Matte Bronzer and it is infused with peach as well so it does smell like peach and I just kind of want to eat it because it smells so good and I'm really hungry right now. So I'm just going to dip in my Real Techniques Blush Brush and I'm just going to apply this on the outer parts of my face. This is really nice. If you want like a really nice natural glow and you're doing like a no makeup makeup look but you also don't want your face to look super flat, this will be really great to like apply all over um, just to add a really nice like bronzy glow to your skin. Okay, I also didn't apply my setting powder under my eyes. So I'm going in with the Peach Perfect Mattifying Loose Powder. You guys know how I feel about the setting powder that they just recently launched as well. In the Too Faced Born This Way collection, I absolutely love it. So when I saw this one, I was like going crazy. I was like super excited and then I tried it out and I was like, damn it, like they nailed it again. And I'm not just saying that, I'm gonna show you guys as soon as I put it on. So it has a nice little cap, just like the other Born This Way loose setting powder. I'm just going to dip in my Real Techniques brush and I'm just going to lightly press it under my eyes. Oh my god, and this smells like peaches too, like, oh my god, I'm so hungry. 
and you can tell right away that I like mattified my under eye like this is no powder and this is with powder so a girl needs no powder <laughs> So for the past few days, I've been having the worst time with my eyelashes and my eyelash glue. Like, it literally won't stay for anything. Like, I would put it on, and the front, look at an eyelash right here, the front would just, like, come off. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm in a rush. Like, I have to go. Then I'll put it again, and it won't stay. So, like, I'm trying to, like, switch over to a new eyelash glue. So I started using the Duo Brush On Adhesive with Vitamins. So far, I mean, it looks like a stain on my eyes. I will test it out throughout the entire day and then update you guys in the description box below. But I was having the hardest time of my life. And then like three, four hours in, my eyelash will be like completely off. And I'm like, what the hell? Like, okay, so let's move on to blush because I'm so excited. I'm going to be using the Too Faced Peach My Cheeks Ginger Peach Blush. And this is also new by Too Faced. I'm just trying to use all the new products in the collection that way you guys can see it on my skin um so let's see i need a dual fiber brush for this this is a cream product so i feel like it'll just apply a little bit better on my skin if i use a dual fiber brush and this is cream to powder so as soon as you put it on your skin it has like that soft powder finish oh that looks really nice oh i really like this that's really pretty. All right, let's put it on the other side. They also have a highlighter in the collection and it also comes in a cream version. So I'm just going to dip in my finger and just like try and place this on the highest points of my face. Oh. Mm. It's not really showing up. I'm just gonna try and apply with my dual fiber brush to see if it shows up a little bit better. Oh yeah, that's better. I mean, this has a really nice subtle glow to it. So if you don't like an intense highlight, then I would feel like you will love this, especially for like an everyday wear. Just cause I know some people don't want like that super intense in your face highlight. So this would be really perfect for that. And my skin looks really nice and glowy. It definitely did apply a lot better when I used my dual fiber brush. So I do recommend using a brush similar to this. I do want to intensify my highlight a little bit more because you know I love my bright highlights. So I'm going in with the Too Faced Love Light Blinded by the Light Highlight and I'm using my Real Techniques setting brush and I'm just going to apply this wherever I applied my highlight. Oh yeah, this is much better. <laughs> And then the last thing that I'm going to use on my face is the new Peach Blur Translucent Smoothing Finishing Powder. So this powder is supposed to make your face look a lot more smoother once you finish your entire face. So I'm just going to finish up by applying it all over. And now on my lips today, I'm like super excited because I'm going to be using one of their new Cream Matte Moisturizing Lipsticks. And I'm using the shade Sunday Funday, which is the shade that I've been wearing every day since I got this collection. It's a beautiful mauve like light brown shade. So many of the girls that went on the trip were actually wearing this lipstick as well. And it looks so pretty on everyone. It's like the nude that's universal. It can literally go with any skin tone. So I'm just going to apply this all over my lips. And it's also really pigmented and creamy. to finish off my makeup I'm going in with the Too Faced Peach Mist and this is a mattifying setting spray I absolutely love the replenishing 3-in-1 setting spray you guys know that I'm all for it so for this one you want to make sure that you shake it before you apply it on your skin whenever I do product reviews I always pick my top favorite products at the end of the video so I quickly wanted to give a shout out to my favorite products um, that I use today starting with the foundation. It looks so flawless on camera in person I mean, it's such a beautiful long wearing foundation If you have oily skin and you're looking for something that's going to last throughout the day This is going to be great for you Especially if you need that extra coverage one layer and your face is going to look flawless Like I only use one layer on my face and it looks absolutely beautiful. I also wanted to give a shout out to the new Loose Mattifying Setting Powder. This is so good on the skin. If you're looking for a good setting powder that's not going to make your face 
feel cakey or feel heavy and it's really lightweight, then I feel like you would really like this. As soon as I put it on my skin, I mean, you were able to tell because you were watching the video, but it did just blur out my T-zone and mattified my under eye, which is something that I really want. I also really love the eyeshadow palette. I feel like the packaging is just absolutely adorable. I love it. I love the fact that it has a big old mirror inside, so this is great for traveling or great if you're doing your makeup. And then these colors are just so practical. I feel like you're going to get a really good use out of it. The quality of the eyeshadows are really great. Honestly, like I didn't have any problem with fallout. I did have some issues with some shades that had a little bit more fallout than the others, but I just dust off my brush and that was pretty much it. It went on my eyes pretty nicely. It didn't ruin my foundation or my concealer. So that's something that's really important to me. Overall, I love this little palette right here. That's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what products you're excited about, what you're going to pick up, if there's something that you want me to continue using here on my channel. I'm pretty sure you're going to see more of these products here, but I always want to hear your thoughts, so let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and let me know what other videos you want to see. And with that being said, I will see you all in the next one very soon. Bye.